So can you guys do something about Subaru's curse or what? Yes, we have found a clue as to our solution. Then hurry up and break it already. Our lives are on the line here. Seriously? Just because you two aren't in danger doesn't mean you can slack off. Get your butts in gear! My apologies. We will do what we can. You'll do what you can? Are you trying to get your ass kicked? Not in particular. I have not said anything with the intention of starting a fight. Bullshit! Calm down, Hidefumi! You know what Subaru will do if you hurt her. <laughs> you even get what's going on, Mr. Vice Prez? We're the poor little victims here. You guys call yourselves the true student council. Shouldn't you be making more of an effort to help us? What? You think we're in the wrong? Sounds to me like you're trying to say we were bullying Subaru. It ain't like that. That loser was always by himself. We were just giving him some attention so he wouldn't be lonely. So what if we had a few fights? Sometimes we didn't get along. Go ask Subaru himself if you don't believe me. He'll be the first to tell you he wasn't being bullied. But more importantly, make sure to protect us, Mr. Big Bad Vice Prez. Like I said, we're the victims here. Do what we can. What's wrong? Was it something I said? Hmm. I would prefer not to use that term, but I do think it was upsetting for him. If Subaru was being hurt, and I knew. I would not have been so indifferent about it. Or so I think. I am short-sighted both literally and figuratively. My personality is lacking and I am not a people person. If only I could isolate myself such that no one would get hurt. But unless I am the only person in the world, it simply isn't possible. But I digress. We should continue exploring. Remember to do what you can. It seems this place too is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Scream! 
kill you! Kill them! Here I go! Commencing wretched fools! After you! Understood. Well done, Kokoro. I knew this creature was coming. I was disciplining some students when somebody locked the classroom door from outside. Mark my words. Whoever's behind this is going to get an earful. But I can't do that from in here, so go find that key! Mr. Komukai, what are you doing? The doors, please! Whew. You really saved me. Thank you. Hmm. Your hair and dress are... non-regulation. But I'll leave you with a warning this time. If I catch you again, though, I'll write you up. Understand? Shattering this one, you will be two-thirds of the way done. Our probability of victory is very high, assuming the demons are roughly the same level as those before. Oh? That would be troublesome. I must recalculate. I only know the monarch I made my pact with, but he seemed quite powerful. I would prefer not to fight against that kind of strength.
cannot force him to fight alongside me. Even if we did have a cooperative relationship, I would have no direct control over him. My monarch is very lazy. He does what he wants and nothing else. He refuses to so much as show up unless the situation demands it. If the same applies to all monarchs, then I am certain they would only appear if the circumstances were dire. If their ideals were shattered and their pact were on the verge of being broken, for example. Exactly the enemies I anticipated. A relieving sight, to be sure. Now then, let us do what we can. Let's go, Kokoro! Here I go. Away with you! Commencing. Wretched fools. I'm with you! I'll crush you all. I wish I were in 
invisible. Then I wouldn't have to worry about getting hit by those jerks. Or anyone looking at me with pity in their eyes. I want power beyond all reason. Like lightning. Then I could obliterate anyone who pissed me off on the spot. I want to just... Exist. With nothing but my eyes and my soul. I want to be at peace. To only look at that which is pure. Like her. And her alone. Forever. And ever. Which reminds me... Dr. Shironeko brought the student in the back of the infirmary over from another building. I hope she's okay. It'll be a load off my mind when she makes it back. I have a question. What happens to a Pact Bearer whose ideals are shattered? I see. It is only logical that it affects the mind if one's ideals are shattered. I am relieved to know it will not result in death. Though, of course, Subaru is already dead. If we break his pact, his entire existence could be extinguished. Destroying someone's soul is essentially the same as killing them in a spiritual sense. We should keep that in mind. This is not something we can go about lightly. Subaru? No. Hidefumi is the only one to blame. He shouldn't have come near me. <laughs> but now, I'm free. You listening, Subaru? I... I killed Hidefumi for you! for my sins. I killed my friend just for you. And? So, 
Forgive me. What? Please, forgive me. Please don't kill me. I don't... I don't want to die. So please, I'm begging you. <sighs> Fine. I won't kill you the way I did everyone else. Huh? Instead, I'll torture you to death. Slowly. Little by little. Bit by bit. Until every last fiber of your being suffers. But... why? You really don't have much going on up there, do you? Single-celled organisms like you are so tiresome. Why the hell would I be happy you killed Hidefumi? You stole my chance at revenge! And here I was, so looking forward to thanking him for pushing me out that window. What? Are you telling me he was still spouting that crap? I was killed. Shoved right out of the window. <sighs> hey, Yasunori. Remind me again. What did you guys do when I begged you not to kill me? <clears throat> you ignored me and did it anyway, didn't you? Your eyes were so wild with excitement. You were mocking me with your laughter. I remember it all. This is my revenge. What goes around, comes around. There's no way I'll forgive you. I'll make you suffer, nice and slow, before I kill you. <laughs> what an idiot! He should know that there's no escaping me! Just one more, and my revenge will be complete. And then my curse will be lifted. Yasunori. 